There are problems everywhere around us. You don't even have to look that hard to find them. Solutions, on the other hand, are not as easy to find. For the inaugural year of FISTAR at Xavier University, we decided to tackle one of those problems using physics and the makerspace to engineer a solution. It all started when I sat down at City Park taking in the view when I noticed a water bottle floating in the middle of the pond just out of reach. If we were going to retrieve that bottle, we'd have to be able to navigate through the water and avoid obstacles. So we set off to make an underwater remote operated vehicle. But before we got there, we had to learn some new skills first. We had to learn how to solder a printed circuit board and how to wire up and waterproof our thrusters. From there, we made our frame out of PVC pipes and pool noodles to help with buoyancy. The PVC fittings made it easy to change our design often until we had a robot that we were happy with. But you can't test an underwater robot without water. So we went dumpster diving and found some wooden pallets to make a makeshift pool. We measured the volume and the mass of the water and calculated how fast it would take to fill up the pool. And it mostly held together with close to 200 screws and about four ropes ratcheted as tight as possible. With the pool built, it was time to test our designs and start making multiple iterations. For example, this one couldn't even go underwater. So we designed our own propellers and 3D print them. We ended it up not using them, but hey, you can never have too many skills, right? Next, we set off for the laser cutter to cut out acrylic boxes to add to the ROV to make it easier to pick up the floating trash. We made multiple iterations of the box after testing and retesting and making it better. But that's the beauty of a laser cutter. You just make more. And finally, after all was said and done, after all the skills we'd learned, we had a working prototype that was able to easily navigate through the water, avoid obstacles, and retrieve floating trash. From here, this little ROV is hopping on a plane to Congo in Africa so that we can share what we learned from this project. And who knows, maybe it'll inspire even more innovative solutions to everyday problems.